Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today I wanted to give you guys the uh, day two, basically, well, I guess, yeah, day two progression of the Righteous Fire Juggernaut. So some quick things I want to talk about with the character. We are currently level 85. We're in SSF. And let me go ahead and show you the main upgrades we got from the last video. Also, sorry the last video had so much lag in it. Um, hopefully this should have fixed it. I changed the bitrate for the recording. So I've got a garbage weapon still, but we're using Trigger Socket Spell Gem uh, that basically automatically casts our Storm Brand anytime we use our skills. And then it has Brand Recall, which pulls it, and then Culling Strike. So this takes care of our Elemental Equilibrium, which is right here. And then it also helps proc our Elemental Overload. So that keeps our uptime, boom, but our weapon's really trash, so huge damage if we can get it. We have a really nice looking helmet that's actually really bothers me. So I used a Scorch Fossil to craft this. I've burned through 40 Scorch Fossils today. It's basically the Fire Modifiers one. So I hit a T1 life, uh, then I used a Divine and crafted myself the plus one level to AoE for RF because it scales up gem level. Then you have the minus nine Fire Res, which came from Scorch. The Immolate is useless for us because we're RF. And I got Conk Effect, which I don't really like because I would rather have burn damage. Because if I had burn damage, I could then replace this burn damage with Inspiration. And Inspiration is a big damage multiplier. Not as big as Conk, but it doesn't reduce my AoE. So this is my AoE right now with Conk because I'm running Ink AoE. So if I remove Ink AoE, that's my AoE because of Conk. So really excited to get that removed because then we'd have a huge RF, which would make it feel better because the damage doesn't feel super good now. This is the chest piece I told you guys about. We didn't get lucky with our Verici method. Um, so I decided I'm using right now Inspiration, Infused Channeling, Burn Damage, Scorching Ray, Efficacy, and at the moment, Duration. Probably going to swap this for Iron Will once I get more strength. Got our Rise of the Phoenix going. I just have Frost Blink right now because you can cancel out a Shield Charge with it, but it desyncs a lot. Then I've got my Skitter Bots that I decided to use. I've got Skitter Bots and Purity of Fire. Then I've got Molten Shell along with our Vol Molten Shell with Increased Duration. Uh, Rallying Cries on there to help with Mana. I got an Elder Belt that I re-rolled. Uh, it's a little bit better, but we still want much better life rolls. Our gloves, we're trying to get fire damage over time multiplier. Haven't gotten them yet, so we're just using these. This was a opal ring I anger essence crafted, so it was nice. We also catalyst it, so it actually gives 60% Ellie damage. Well, 30 fire and 30 Ellie, which is really good. And then I've got this ring, which is flammability on hit, so it really is nice with our storm brand. So... The character is really tanky, it just doesn't do an extreme amount of damage right now, and there's a lot of foreseeable upgrades, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm just going to do a simple blue map. Uh, the nice thing is there's a lot of upgrades to come. So the first thing is our HP is going to go up quite a bit. So that's one upgrade. Uh, the next thing is our RF is level 18, I think. So because it's only actually level 18. I think it's level 19 now, actually. I lied. Hold on. Nope, it's level 19 now. Uh, but it can still level up to level 20. And then I can vol up for 21. So the base gem itself has two more levels to go. My current weapon is just so terrible. It's like, it's god awful. So that's kind of nice. There's definitely a weapon upgrade very soon in the future. My single target is actually not that bad at all right now. And I'm not using a crazy Scorching Gray. Uh, it is six length, but I mean, the six link is duration. So it's not really like, I mean, I can make do with a five link if I really need to. Um, I'm not going to use Vol RF here because I like to save it for the Metamorphs. So this might take just a little bit, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay.
I think the servers are a little wonky today. I hope the video is not lagging again, because that's going to make me sad. So far, it's been pretty smooth. Um, if I was trade league, for sure, there's like so much more damage I could get. So that's nice. For SSF, it's going to be uh, a little bit of a challenge, which kind of makes it fun. Not, not an extremely difficult challenge. One of the big things I was concerned about is when I dropped like flammability blasphemy, I thought my damage was gonna go like complete shit, but it's actually not that bad at all, which is nice. Because I'm not relying on a curse then, which is really good because I don't like relying on a curse because of, well, there's simply like uh, curse immune maps and curse resistant maps. Okay, uh, Thurns charges extra damage. Give me some scarabs, currency, currency. Yeah, let's go. It's the fun part here. All right, boom. Molten shell on. Fortify up. Okay. Whoa, whoa. That may have lagged. Okay. With 9,000 molten shell to spare. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, so that's pretty much the character. Um, we're gonna be doing a lot of delving in the foreseeable future because I burned all my pristines and all my scorch fossils. So we're really trying to get that done. I may try to farm um, some curse crypt because you can get, is it Celestial Justicar from here? I think it's called. Yeah, Six Link Astral, which would be pretty cool to get. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you want the character, just go ahead and import my POV profile at Pox and just snag the character Pox Jug RF. Take care, everybody.